A while ago, a friend told me about this taut thriller called The Guilty that features a police dispatcher on the phone with a kidnap victim. It was simple in its execution due to the single location, but it's totally character driven. The Amazon Prime original movie 7500 also uses a single location premise, but this time it's a plane cockpit and the stakes are much higher. Should you drop everything to watch this right now? Seventy-five hundred is the distress code signaling a hijacking. Joseph Gordon-Levitt stars as Tobias. He's an American first officer on a commercial airliner. It's flying out of Berlin and the plane is attempted to be hijacked. Tobias is locked in the cabin trying to get the plane to safety while the hijackers are wreaking havoc with the passengers. Before I continue, I wanted to share a munchie that I found. And it's really not, I mean, I guess it's a munchie, but it's more of a hot sauce. And this is za, za Zashila? I'm, I'm pronouncing it just terribly. I don't know. It's hot habanero sauce. I call it sketchy sauce because, I mean, look at this bottle. It's just, it. there's nothing on it. It looks generic. It might be, I mean, other than the name that's Zashila, I guess. This stuff is amazing. I found it at Walmart and it's like a buck 25 in California per bottle. So I don't know, maybe it's even cheaper where you're at if you're able to get it. If you like hot and spicy though, this stuff is spectacular. I put it on tacos, burritos, enchiladas, anything Mexican, even just in beans if I wanna just spice it up because it tastes so good. Sometimes you just have heat and no flavor. This has flavor as well. Anyway, I am not sponsored by them. I would love it if they sent me a case. I wouldn't say no to that at all. But if you're into hot and spicy foods and you really like hot sauces, you might wanna check this out. Again, I found it at Walmart. So, you know, you might be able to even find it on Amazon or wherever you happen to shop. All right, so let's get back to the review. This is such a high tension film. Gordon Levitt delivers a spellbinding performance. I mean, it is emotionally wrought with anxiety, sadness, fear, and anger. I mean, there are points where he is yelling into the phone that connects the cockpit with outside. And he's looking through this little monitor that's just like a closed circuit TV type of thing as a security camera. And he's pleading with the hijackers not to do something, that he is going to get them to safety. He is going to land the plane. He's doing what they say. And he's just, I mean, it's please no, please no, please no. And you just see the sadness, the fear, the anger, all of this seething from him as he delivers his lines. I mean, we get to feel what he's feeling in this because he's doing it so well. And there is an emotional moment in this for him as a character that just, I mean, it breaks him and it could break you too because it is so just tense and heartbreaking and gut-wrenching and angering all at the same time. The single location of the cockpit is very claustrophobic but it's super effective to set up the anxiety and the suspense that the film is trying to build. I mean, what it does is it pushes that tension to an absolute breaking point and we feel it. I mean, it is crazy how they're able to move the camera around in the cockpit and it make it feel like you're actually in a cockpit, like they haven't had an exploded view so that they can get the camera in front of him so that they can get these shots. I mean, it feels like you were right there, like the camera guy is smashed up against the, the pilot seat to film Joseph Gordon-Levitt in the co-pilot seat. I mean, that's how it feels like you're just, and it moves around and some of the shots are seamless and just the editing itself really does a great job of placing you right in the center and raising your heartbeat. I'm impressed because this movie is the first feature length film for the director. The stress that this produces, the framing that they choose, and even the editing and all of it that goes into it feels like it is from a seasoned director. So it's really cool to know that this is the first feature length film out of the gate and this dude's killing it. While the story is straightforward, there are complications that they insert into the story to really up the stakes. And truly that's where Joseph Gordon-Levitt's craft and his mastering of his acting comes into play. The role is so demanding and it is so character driven that it really hangs on him and his performance, his delivery of the lines. He has to convince us what he's feeling because otherwise there's no tension. I mean, sure, it's written into the story, but if we don't feel what he's feeling and that that just urgency to handle the situation, it falls flat. You figure this is a 92 minute movie, about 80 of them are heart pounding. It's amazing what they can pack into a short time and a compact acting space. I like a lot of the supporting characters, especially Omar Mehmet who plays Vidat. Now I may be mispronouncing his name, but he is awesome because he is another one 
who really conveys a lot of emotion. And I have to believe him. If it's gonna work, I have to believe him. And I did. He convinced me with his eyes, with his, his body movements, the quiver in his voice. I mean, just everything. You see somebody on the brink and he plays it well. If you're in the mood for great drama, high tension and spectacular acting, then you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out. There's no sex or nudity, lots of profanity and some graphic violence. I give 7,500 four and a half out of five couches. It's been a while since we've seen Joseph Gordon-Levitt in a feature film. What's your favorite performance of his? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris, this is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.